Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, reporting from Washington, D.C. This week, we are focusing on communicating conservation, sharing environmental protection with the public, with some exciting new research, events, and informative webinars, so be sure to watch until the very end. I've talked a lot on the show about the power of stories and film to target different audiences and educate on environmental issues. This year, the Jackson Wild Awards Gala celebrates and recognizes the best in natural history filmmaking, featuring impactful films spreading natural history conservation awareness around the world. Luckily, I was able to attend the event locally in Silver Spring, Maryland at the AVI Movie Theater and meet some of the most talented filmmakers, producers, and science communicators in the country and around the world. Impact campaigns carry conservation benefits back to communities, and I was excited to see new awards categories focused on social and trailblazers. Congratulations to all the finalists and award winners. Participatory science, where members of the public contribute to scientific research, is often employed in environmental research. But how can it be better integrated with science communication? A new paper reveals themes from a number of case studies from around the world. Synergy of science communication theory and participatory science practice is needed. The paper recommends a stakeholder-centered approach with inclusive and tailored communication strategies and branding to enhance engagement throughout a project. Themes of innovation, resilience, and expansion were found. For example, in the wake of devastating bushfires in Australia in 2019 and 2020, community science projects helped people to build connections and resilience. Check out the full paper at the link in the description below. The Wildlife Society hosted a webinar on communicating conservation, featuring a Missouri nature podcast focusing on the health benefits of nature and connecting folks with their native wildlife using audio storytelling. Wisconsin's Aldo Leopold Foundation outreach programming brings landowners into more sustainable forest management practices. Check out the webinar now posted on the website to see these case studies in full detail at the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.